Well, the Treasury plan to help struggling homeowners is falling short, according to a new report by the Congressional Oversight Panel. Joining us this morning is chairman of that watchdog group, the former Senator uh, Ted Kaufman. Uh, Senator, uh, thanks so much for joining us. Uh, and if I can just hey, boil... Betty, thanks for having me. If I can just boil down this 176-page report to this, it is right. that essentially the Treasury is not modifying enough loans. Is that right? I mean, they're about right. two or three That's million right. short of that. Right, exactly. No, that's exactly right. No, that boils it down. Basically, we were hoping there would be three to four million mortgage modifications, and now it looks like they're on target to do between seven, eight hundred thousand. What happened here? Well, a lot of things happened. First off, it turned out to be the economy was a lot worse than, uh, you know, stayed with us a lot longer than we thought it would. It's a tough environment. But then, you know, it was never as simple as it sounded. Uh, you know, that basically we have this idea of a loaner and a borrower sitting down and working it out where the borrower would get their mortgage modified and that's how it all worked but since securitization we're talking about a totally different deal and in between all this were the servicers and they're the people that are actually servicing the loan between the bank many of their banks between the person that has the mortgage uh, as, and, the, and the person that borrowed the money and okay. they, in many cases they had a conflict of interest because it was easier for them to foreclose and, and more profitable for them to foreclose than actually modify the mortgage. So the incentive was for them to make money by foreclosing rather than going through exactly. the process of modification. Okay. Exactly. So was exactly. the ambition too much by the Treasury or were the incentives not enough? Right. Well that, that was part of it. I think the Treasury, this is like the fourth report we've done, the, the panel did, before I was on the panel, when Elizabeth Warren was the chair, and, and all of them, they said, hey, Treasury, start measuring more things, keep set, set new objectives, and Treasury didn't do that. And so basically, Treasury's still talking about between three and four million modifications. And the problem with that, Betty, is not just, there's a reason to set objectives, and the problem is now we can't modify this program at all. On October 3rd, the TARP ended. And there can be no modification. So if we've been on top of this, we could have changed. But now we're actually uh, locked into this present program, which is is pushing towards seven or eight hundred thousand mortgages but, but, modified. But isn't there something like thirty billion dollars left to spend in this program? Right. Yep. But the but the, our our estimate, CBO's estimate, using CBO's estimate, working it down is based on what's in place right now with the program that's presently in place, which cannot be in major modifications. We'll only end up spending about four billion dollars. Only is a big word. Four billion dollars is a lot of money, but clearly uh, we had the thirty billion. We could have done more with it if, in fact, the prog program had been modified earlier. But, but, okay. As the mo but I'm not clear on that. That if we've got thirty billion dollars more to spend right. on it, then why can't we deploy right. that for more modifications? Because we, the system in place to make the modifications will only generate enough mortgages. For three, for seven or eight hundred thousand. Oh, I see. There have to be okay. a major change in the program in order to, you know, it's like if you have a doorway to a store and only three people can get in a day, and you can handle fifty people. It doesn't matter as long as the doorway only lets three in. And way this, with all the different concerns about this program and the way it's set up, only that many people can make it in the modification program. I see. Then, Senator, bottom line, what is your recommendation then? Well, my recommendation is the Treasury, even now, they keep closer watch on the people that are getting are falling behind. That's really important. The second thing is to continue to get more data on redefaults. We project redefaults, which really could kill the program, is now 20 percent in the first year. Or some people project it will be even higher over five years. And then they've got to hold the servicers more in account. They, the servicers, it's a voluntary program, but they do have control over these servicers, and they should be putting more effort on them to live by the rules and do the right thing. Right, and, and, and to be incentivized for that. I can get that word out. Um, Senator, right. thank you so much.